Hi guys. All right, I'm going to read to you George and Martha Encore. And after you get done reading or listening to this and get done listening to the true story of the three little pigs, you can go vote for your favorite. Um, George and Martha Encore is kind of like Frog and Toad in that that there are multiple stories within the book. So in this book, there are actually five stories. So I'm, I'm actually going to read them all because they're pretty short. So this is George and Martha Encore by James Marshall. The first story is called The Dance Recital. George and Martha were having a disagreement. I think dancing is dumb, said George. Dancing is not dumb exclaimed Martha. Dancing is fun, and if you don't come to my dance recital, I'll be very angry. So, of course, George went to Marcia, Martha's recital. I'm going to hate this, he said to himself. But what a surprise for George. Martha's dance of the happy butterfly was so impressive. Dancing looks like fun, said George. The next day, George went to dancing class. You see, said Martha, dancing is fun. Very soon, George was in his own dance recital. Martha said that his Mexican hat dance was the best she'd ever seen. All right, the second story is called The French Lesson. George went to Martha's house for his French lesson. Bonjour, Martha, said George. Bonjour, George, said Martha. George sat next, sat next to Martha on the sofa. How do you say, give me a kiss in French, asked George. You say, voulez-vous m'embrasser, answered Martha. And this down here tells you how to say it. And that is what, just what George did. Dee, said Martha. I knew you were going to do that. George kind of tricked Martha into kissing him. The third story is called The Disguise. George decided to dress up as an Indian. This disguise will really fool Martha, he chuckled. She'll never recognize me. But Martha wasn't fooled a bit. Hi, George, she said. Why are you wearing that Indian costume? George was so disappointed. He walked away hanging his head. Martha felt simply awful. She hadn't meant to hurt George's feelings. George, said Martha, I would never have recognized you if it hadn't been for your bright smiling eyes. It's so hard to disguise smiling eyes. And of course, George felt much better. <laughs> Story number four is The Beach. One day, George and Martha went to the beach. I love the beach, exclaimed Martha. So do I, said George. However, we must be sure to put on our suntan lotion. But Martha refused to put on suntan lotion. You'll be sorry, George called out. Oh, pooh, said his friend. You're a fuss budget, George. Martha was having such a lovely time. Uh oh, you can see the sun is out. Oh. The next day, Martha had a terrible sunburn. She felt all hot and itchy. But George never said, I told you so, because that's not what friends are for. Instead, George is getting her some water. All right, the last and fifth story 
is the garden. Martha was so discouraged. Her garden was an ugly mess of weeds. I just don't seem to have I just don't seem to have a green thumb, she sobbed. George hated to see Martha unhappy. He wanted so much to help. Suddenly, George had a splendid idea. He went to the florist and bought all the tulips in the shop. Tulips were Martha's favorite flowers. Very quietly, George crept into Martha's garden and stuck the tulips in the ground. But just then, Martha happened to look out the window. Uh oh, she's seeing what he's doing. Oh dear, said George. You're always catching me. But Martha was so pleased. Dear George, she said, I would much rather have a friend like you than all the gardens in the world. And that's it. <laughs> all right, guys. So once again, after you listen to these two stories, you can go vote. A lot of people still haven't voted for um, um, between the kissing hand and corduroy. But so far, the kissing hand is winning. So I'll wait a few more days probably to make or declare the winner. All right. I hope I see you guys soon. Bye.